to be honest, I speak as an employer and, and as an employee because during this very trying period, all of us, we try our very best, even when we know that sometimes the result is going to be imperfect. I'd love to start the session by asking you to introduce yourself and um, and tell us what you do. Sure. So uh, first of all, thank you to you, Kev, and 33 Talent for having me um, this morning. Uh, I'm Tarius. I'm the HR lead uh, for Rudefin. So I primarily take care of the Southeast uh, Asia region. So yeah, I've been in the HR space for you know the last 10 years or so and generally primarily in the agency space great thank you i'm sure you've seen some interesting um differences across the region with yeah. rudafin being a well global and regional agency are there any new skills that you've had to pick up um, or any sort of surprises um for you during the course of this year oh definitely a lot of um different you know experience and new skills first of all i consider myself really fortunate to be working in a smaller and close knitted environment so being able to understand and feel the employees mood uh you know or how they feel on constant voice calls in the beginning when we were having circuit breaker to be honest it was really really hard because based on just a phone call or a video zoom it's really hard to know whether they are really okay so yeah i'm still learning as we go along in terms of recognizing the voice and you know how it is yeah and that's secondly, interesting so you mean sort of recognizing um how someone's doing how someone's feeling sort of based on voice alone rather than having them physically present and sort of being able to read the body language yes that's very very true because i mean usually you start out with how are you how's everything how are you you know how are you doing and it's always oh i'm good i'm good i'm good most of the time it's i'm good so you kind of have to sometimes pry a bit more to really find out how's everything and it's a bit hard with the phone call but so in that case you may have to actually just ask a few more questions than normal to sort of Correct. really work out how someone's doing and um and do you have an inspired action or a sort of top tip that you would share with the people who are watching this video you know if they are a hr manager of of a company themselves and and having to consider all of these things themselves internally uh, i think maybe just one little small sort of tip I think it's really important to continue to really spread empathy and have a big heart. A small single text, a short simple call, a funny voice message or a small surprise gift package, you know, it's, it really means a lot to everyone. I think very often we forget about all these small actions and we kind of want to think about, oh, let's do something big next year, let's do something great. But I think a lot of us may be planning that next year, but I think for now, I personally think it's good to maybe focus on the shorter term and also longer term, but just all these small little actions, it really helps and counts. I love that. Um, I've actually re heard that referred to as moments that matter yeah. as well. So the sort of the moments that matter are often all of these little things that happen. So um, what's been the best way that you found to support employees during the crisis um, so that they feel secure and able to meet their responsibilities at, at work, but also at home? Um, I think I will repeat this particular word a lot of times, but I think lots of empathy and understanding towards one another because that is the most basic and easiest way to do it. So to be honest, I speak as an employer and, and as an employee because during this very trying period, all of us, we try our very best, even when we know that sometimes the result is going to be imperfect uh, as an employer. We created some new support framework and, and initiatives for employees, for example, um, you know, we give employees the mobile supplement on a monthly basis so that, you know, they can use it. And then we initiated Friday. So every last Friday of the month, we kind of force them to finish work at four o'clock and then do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had a very great session with 33 Talent on the topic of um, thriving in turbulent times. Um, it was really great for the team and, you know, we appreciated something when everyone was really held at home and yeah i mean a number of things that we have gone through and we are trying to do so we try our best <laughs> yeah what a year it's been um thank you so much for sharing no um, your experiences and your thoughts terry thank you really valuable tips there thank you